Hi kindergartners. All right, here we go. We have a fun one today. We are working on our, our numbers. So you want to make sure that you can recognize your numbers and that we can put them in counting order. Something we've been practicing in our Go Math books, but we want to practice them here as well. So the first thing we're going to do with this page is color our pumpkins orange. So you're going to need an orange crayon. Here it reads orange on the crayon. And you'll need a pair of scissors. So go ahead, get those, and we're going to start. All right, now that you have your crayon, go ahead and color all of your pumpkins. Now you want to use a crayon, not a marker, because the marker, it might cover up the four. So if you do use, if you do decide, you know, oh, I want to use a marker, just make sure you go around the numbers so that we can still see the numbers. So otherwise, you won't be able to put them in counting order. And then I have a brown crayon for the stem, All right? You can see this one has no paper on it because it's one I use to do my leaf rubbing. Go ahead and color and pause this video and come back when it's all colored and we will finish. Okay, you can see I colored everything. Now you might want to say, oh my gosh, Mrs. Doiber, why did you color outside the lines? Well, I can tell you, I wanted to do it quickly and I knew I was going to be using my scissors and cutting. So when you know you're going to cut, it's okay to go outside the lines. But when you cut, now is where we have to be careful what we're cutting off. All the outside the lines. See? Now it's gone. Whoops. See? Now it's gone. You have to be very careful cutting down the stem of your pumpkin. Cutting around the pumpkin. And this is where we get to practice our cuttings for first grade right here. We want to stay on those black lines. Our first grade teachers will expect us to be able to cut beautifully, so that's why we do a lot of cutting practice in kindergarten. There we go. There's my number 10. Go ahead and cut out all these pumpkins, and then meet me back here, and I'll show you how we put them in counting order. Okay, so I have cut out all my pumpkins. I have put my crayons away because there's a place for everything and everything has its place. And I've cleaned up all my trash. So you don't wanna make anyone in your family clean up after yourself. You wanna do it yourself, clean up your space, make sure you're all organized and clean. And now we're ready to put our pumpkins in counting order. When we count, we start after zero. And what is the first number we say? Yes, number one, so we have to find the one. Put all my pumpkins facing up so I can see them. Okay. Do you see the one? I see the one. Number one. So we will put that over here, our very first one. All right, so now let's count. One, two. Do you see the two? Hey, I see the two. Two. Around and back on a railroad track. Two, two, there we go. Okay, so now let's count. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, where's the three? Our poem for three, around a tree and around a tree, that makes the number three. There it is, three. Now let's count. One, two, three, four. Four's a little different than the way we make fours. It's kind of a fancy four. Do you see the four? Yes, it's way down here at the bottom. Down and across and down some more. That makes the number four. One, two, three, four, five. Where's the five? Is this a five? What about this one? Across, down, 
and around. That's five that I found. There's our five. So let's put our five up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down and a loop. Six rolls a hoop. Oh, look at these two. They're very similar. Which one is six? Yes, this one. Look at a nine. If I put it upside down, it would be a six. But we don't want our pumpkin upside down. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Straight across and down from heaven. That makes the number seven. Do you see the seven? Do I see it right here? Seven. All right, I'm gonna bring our camera up. There we go. So we can put the rest of our numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make an S and do not wait. Climb back up to number eight. I see the eight because it looks like an S and we climb back up. Two numbers left. All right, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. First a loop and then a line. That makes the number nine. Where's our nine? There it is, nine. Last one. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There he is. One and a zero. Number ten. He is our hero. There's your number line. After you get yours in order, please take a picture and submit it. If you want, you can also take a video of you counting for me. I would love to hear you count. You just click on video instead of photo and click and say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. All right. Have fun with math.